Hi, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you might be. Uh, I'm uh, Dr. Gary Ho, one of the board certified sports medicine physicians here at Ortho Virginia. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about fluid in the joint uh, or effusions as we call it. A lot of patients ask me when they have water on the knee or fluid buildup in their joint, what is that? Where does it come from and what does it mean? And sort of a related uh, question to that is, what is a Baker's cyst, particularly in the knee? And so what I'd like to do today is kind of answer that question for all of you guys out there. So the first thing is to understand what this fluid in the knee is, is a little um, review of the anatomy of a typical joint. So there are lots of different types of joints in the body. The type of joint that we're talking about is, in fancy terms, a diathrodeal synovial joint. But what that means is, in a typical joint, you have two pieces of bone coming together, meeting, and there's a little cap of cartilage on top of that bone right here where they meet. But the entire joint is enclosed by a saran wrap kind of capsular covering that we call the joint capsule. And on the inner surface of that joint capsule is a lining called the synovial membrane, which is colored here in purple in this diagram. This synovial membrane makes synovial fluid that normally lubricates the joint, nourishes the joint. There's several other things the fluid does as well, but primarily it's a fluid to kind of help bathe that, that environment inside that joint. And it does some important things. And it's usually very viscous, thick, and goopy. And that's a normal happy joint with just a couple drops of this thick, goopy, gel-like fluid. But if there's anything that irritates the joint causing inflammation, whether that's a degenerative condition like osteoarthritis or an injury like a meniscal tear or inflammation, uh, the certain inflammatory conditions, anything that basically irritates the joint, the synovium gets inflamed. And when it gets inflamed, it starts to make a large amount of the wrong type of fluid. Now, when the synovium is inflamed, it makes a large amount of thin, watery fluid Okay, so it's the wrong viscosity, and it's often chock full of inflammatory hormones, which further irritate the inside of the knee, causing pain. And that's what we call a synovial effusion. Okay, and that's one type of a effusion, which means a kind of a buildup of fluid inside the joint. So this one type is an inflammatory effusion. So that's how those water on the knee, or when, when joints get filled with fluid or they get swollen, from that, from that effusion, that's how that happens. What can happen though, in a joint that we are accustomed to moving a lot, like the knee, is that whenever we move the joint, the joint changes shape. And when it changes shape, when it kind of gets into a tighter configuration, the pressure goes up and the fluid wants to go somewhere. And in the case of the knee, the fluid likes to push out the back. There's one area where the capsule is thinnest, where you are likely to basically push out that fluid, causing a collection of fluid outside the knee joint space that we call a Baker's cyst. So over here, I have a diagram kind of showing that. This is a sideways image of the knee. And you can see this dark blue would be the joint space where there might be potentially some fluid. And that can push out the back, causing a Baker's cyst in the back of the knee. All right, and that's called a Baker's cyst. When that happens, sometimes the way the fluid gets pushed out creates a valve a one-way valve, which kind of encourages that fluid to build up in the back of the knee. And that's what's called a Baker's cyst. And it's named after a Dr. Baker. So you don't have to be a baker in the kitchen to actually have a Baker's cyst, okay? So hopefully that answers that question. Here at Ortho Virginia, we have lots of different ways to address this problem uh, with ultrasound guided procedures, draining it, injecting it with various types of medications. And we have world-class surgeons here as well. Uh, as a non-operative sports medicine physician, uh, there are a lot of things that we can do to help address these problems without surgery, but we're part of a multidisciplinary team here at Ortho Virginia. So if you have a knee effusion or a Baker's cyst, come on in and let us get the, the chance to help you out. So hopefully that helps and uh, hope you have a great day.